There's something to look at back here, honey. Where I've been while I've been training for the job, you wouldn't notice them. Well, you want to see them New York gals on Lenox Avenue? Them gals are fast, I bet, switching themselves to catch the men. But, honey, you wouldn't look at none of them fast gals while you're away from home, would you? They ain't none of them's pretty in the face like my gal. And that prodigal son? He takes the inheritance with his happy gives him and he spends it on the past life. But not this boy, Lord. No, Jesus, not this boy. And the prodigal son, he is a liar. And the truth ain't in him. But not this boy, Lord. He's got the truth, Lord. Yes, yes. You know, I look, up, and there's the Capitol building looking like a palace on the hill. And the big front door opens and the President of the United States marches down the avenue with a band before and a band behind. And he comes right up to my car and he says just as natural, well, Brutus, you sure is much of a man. And I, for one, wants to compliment you on landing the job. Honey, they're singing the closing song at the church. We've well, got time. Just train's gonna pick me up at the water tank. But you know they're waiting to see you before you go. I sure hate to leave my girl. Goodbye, folks. Brother, 
take care of yourself. Bye. a dime out of this, you're doing well. And number three here, boy, that's good for hair. Now what about this one? Number five. A whole section. That's a honeymoon couple. Raise your hand right, it means the long green. Big money, huh? That's what I want to tell you about. You know, there's two kind of women that ride the pool. There's the kind that says, uh, what do you mean, Porter? That don't mean nothing but a tip. Then there's the kind that sings out, Hello there, Jack Johnson. And boy, that means money. No. Yeah, I'm going to show you where to spend it. <laughs> And the storm in the land from east to west, I the fire. 
in your tire. You and Mr. Harrington must be getting mighty sick. Well, we just pull off a little deal together. I give him some valuable advice. And he said, Jones, you're learning fast. You're getting big. And then he takes me into partnership. But ain't you going back on the Pullman no more? Oh, I'll stick by the job for a few more runs, but uh, things don't seem to be going quite right on that old run of mine. And the boss asked me to drop down that way and straighten them out. Well, I guess since you'll be down that way, you'll probably drop in the White House. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> Look here, what are you trying to do, kid me? <laughs> me kid you? Boy, you're a scream. Jones, you're getting big. You're learning fast. Then he takes me into partnership. Come clean, big boy. Where'd you get that money in a crap game? <laughs> Go ahead, laugh some more. You done laughed yourself right off of my payroll. Oh, honey, sweetheart, I didn't mean it. I was only kidding. No, you're too funny to live with. Any woman's baggage which gets heavier and heavier the longer you tote them. You got to change them to keep traveling light. Here's forty dollars and goodbye. So you was all set to do this before you come in, huh? Through is through. You heard me. And you can go back to Jeff. He still thinks there ain't nobody like his own Yeah. Well, you ain't the first man who's gone down and out thinking everybody else was a fool. I got eyes. Even if Jeff ain't. You can tell that polecat Belle to do. If she wants to keep on trying to look like Garbo, let her stay out of my way. See him, sister. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jeff. Hello, Andy. Undine, meet Miss LeDuc. I've known Bill since before she straightened her hair. And when she went with Johnson. Where is he now, Bill? Still in jail? Undine, where's your manners? I'm just trying to talk so that cold cat can understand me. Come on, baby. Let's dance. What's the matter with you tonight, Undine? Now, I don't like you acting so to my pal. Your pal? Yeah. Don't make me mad. When he's been fighting me at the back for a year. What do you mean? I mean, when I get finished with Bell, he ain't gonna have much left to love. Traveling light. They is crooked. They stand just like him. And here's where I straightened them both.
Listen, Dolly, you gotta move fast. Get me a file, a change of clothes, especially shoes. Island on the way? Oh, just no local, just running express. Kingston. Quite a big city, eh? Now you shout. They got everything there. Dance hall, gal. They got telegraph? Cable, you mean, big boy? Sure they got cable. What's that little island with the white fort we've been coming on this afternoon? Nobody about to go that place. Ain't nothing there but trouble. Trouble's my buddy. Say, Bo, watch my door. I ain't gonna be long. Okay.
Trouble? Here I come. Well, Your Excellency, the goods has come and I brought you a few samples. First class, just like I said they'd be. Now, here's the figures. 400 cash for the lot. Oh, no. I got the contract this time. The contract, he said, 300. Contract? Well, that's just the blooming point. You see, uh, here it says, except for a Hector Gord. Now, then, I ain't the like of that consignment within 300 miles. And the next boat don't get here for two months. Now, ain't that a Hector Gord, self me? <laughs> Where you get that trash from? On the beach. Where you come from? Come to make trouble on my island. Took this swine. Lock him up and swim when the first boat out. I'll take here. Here, five silver dollars for him. Lock, stock, and barrel. What do you say now? Is it a tried? Good. Here, wait a minute. Here, bring him here. I won't have a talk with him. Yeah, that's all right. He belongs to me. Yeah. So that's what it a killer, what? With the law on your trail and the blooming gallows waiting for you around the next corner, what? Look here, white man. I comes and I goes. And that's my business. <laughs> Not afraid to stand right up to your betters and tell them what's what. You wouldn't be afraid of a bit of a fight, neither, would you? When I fight, there's some minutes. And I don't never fight on no empty belly. Yeah, well, supposing your belly was full and you had a chance to get back at the stinking even what threw you out, what would you say then? And now you's talking, white man. All right. Now you get your rum and you eat. But you don't get a stinking penny. Because I'm a trader, see? I ain't no blooming missionary. And if anybody worries you, you just tell them you belong to Mr. Smithers. I belongs to Mr. Smithers. What's that? Ginger. What's that? A medal. What's that? Token. What's that? Ginger. Ginger? What's that? Coffee. Coffee. Oh. <laughs> Well, this ain't regular, but maybe the dice will do. Now, it goes first to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. All right, talk to him, Bo. what I say? Thieve in the South. Thieve ourselves. Ada from Decatur. 
Did that some cater? Big dick. Big dick. <laughs> well, shoot, man. Don't you know what I mean shoot? Oh, and the whole pile goes to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. And all right. Get it in. All yours, buddy. Boy, I'll be dressed up here in a minute. I'm going after that hat. Let him roll. Natural. Let me have it, boy. Now, Cracker, what do you say? This whole pile against that Rolls Royce. Ha! The house is rolling. Now, come on, you galloping dominoes. Come home to Papa and let her ride. Ha! Nine is the gentleman's point. Come on, Ada from Decatur. Come on. Ha! Eve in the South, baby. Ha! The gentleman made his point. Ah, uh, the team is mine, Cracker. Let's tough luck. Better luck next Saturday night. We play home on for Oh, no. Women is women. And Brutus Jones is through. <laughs> well, I'll see you boys next week. Look them over. Come on, Cracker. Well, I'll see you later. I wonder what the blazes is keeping that black ape. Here, where do you think you're going? Well, oh, good morning, Mr. Smithers. You work in here. Well... To tell you the truth, Mr. Smithers, the boys back in the bush seems to like my method. And I was thinking to open up a little trading business next door here. Oh, cut my bleeding throat, would you? After all I've done for you, too. Is that your idea of gratitude? Oh, well, I was always ready to listen to reason. And while I'm unloading, if I was to hear anybody say something about a partnership, Shut the gates after us. Look at you, white man. Is your nerves slipping? I don't like it. If you had to recruit an army for them, why did you have to get such big blokes? Yes, yeah, that is fine. I bet you they know the man when they see one. Well, if there's any trouble, you want to got yourself to blame. Saluting him and calling him general. Well, now I told you, Mr. Smithers. If there's any trouble, you just leave a general to me. Uh, uh, Mr. Smithers, see your excellency. Show the gentleman in. Oh, well, uh, good day to you, Majesty. Well, well, top hole, eh? Top hole. As fine a body of men as ever I clapped me people to. Hey, what, Jones? Right. Yeah. And well found. I reckon when you figure how little it's costing you, makes you feel mighty proud. Send in the treasure. This my treasure. Tell the gentleman the truth now. Does you know how to figure? Yes, Your Highness. 
Now you see, I got a figure. Produce the contract. Your bill, Mr. Smithers. Yeah, well, uh, here you are, Your Excellency. Now then, there was a hundred uniforms at five dollars. That's a thousand dollars. There was a hundred rifles at five dollars. A thousand dollars. One cannon was five hundred and the ammunition. Well, it adds up to four thousand dollars, Your Excellency. What does the treasure report? It seems to me that there might be a little error. Oh, well, here, here, let me have a look at it. Yeah, we all make mistakes now. I guess. Yes, it is a mistake. I've seen it all along. It's $5,000. There you is, Captain. Check that off and tell it to the boss. got drunk in town last night and I takes care of his gun while he sleeps it off? Well, that's what I call brain. This place smells more like a chain gang dumped in a palace. Say, Smithers, how you likes the contract of doing this dump over? Now you're talking. I gives you an audience tomorrow. And bring along them fashion sheets that I gets last summer. And then I want some mirrors, plenty of them. And remember, Smithers, red's my color. I always had a special taste for red. Mr. President. Now, King Brutus. Now, somehow that don't make enough noise. Smithers, cigarette. Light. Sir, you has just had an audience with the Emperor Jones.
Brush it off. Tell Smith that I see him here. Clear out, all of you. Your Majesty. Well, Smithers, what's on your mind this morning? Why, well, you remember what I told you when you slapped that lost tax on coffee? That you were cutting your own bloomin' throat on the village last night, and your tax collector got beaten up so his own mother wouldn't know it. Oh, well, that's old stuff. My army's got them already. And I'm gonna dress them down before the whole court this morning. They all need a lesson. Too late to give them a lesson now, my lad. You've got them squeezed dry. Look at you. When I take this job, what I told you? I says three years for my cleanup, don't I? Well, we've got six months to go. Them's my arrangement, and I ain't gonna change. I suppose you got your money in the white safe, eh? I sure have. And it's banked in a foreign land where there ain't no chain gangs and no Jim Crow, and nobody can get it except me. In six months, I walks out on circus, and from then on, I stop dog. Don't do it, eh? Look here, white man. There's little stealing like you does, and there's big stealing like I does. For the little stealing, they get you in jail sooner or later. For the big stealing, they make you emperor and put you in the hall of fame when you croak. Well, all I know is that it's a wise gambler that knows when to quit. Look here, white man. You think I ain't still got these sacks? You think when I crack the whip, they don't jump through? All right, I show you. I'll summon the court. is on the throne. Summon the court. My Duke and Duchess of Manhattan. My priest and Marchioness of New York. Lord and Lady Baltimore, Lord and Lady Richmond, and all points in His Majesty's kingdom, north, south, east, and west. And Mr. Smith. Bring in the prison. So you use yourself to start a rough house and beat up an officer of the crown? Well, I see I've been too easy on you. Now I'm going to show you who's boss around here. Lieutenant! Take them from the courtyard and give them 50 lashes apiece. And lock them up. I said, lock them up! What? What? Take your company to the Five Mile Village and burn it off the face of the earth.
dare whistle that way in my palace? Who dare wake up the emperor? I'll get to hide and pray along some of you and show. It was me you whistled, you. I got news for you. Oh, it's you, Mr. Smithers. What news you got to tell me? Where's all your court? The generals and the cabinet ministers and all. Well, they mostly run to the minute I close his eyes. Drinking rum, talking big down the town. How come you don't know that? Ain't you sousing with them most every day? Well, I got you in my business, ain't I? Your business. Blimey, when you landed here, you didn't have no iron mighty airs. Talk polite, white man. Talk polite, you hear me? I'm boss here now. Is you forgetting? It's all right. No harm meant those jobs. Well, I accept your apology. Well, what I was then is one thing, and what I is now is another. I wasn't afraid to hire you that time after you broke jail on the States. No, you didn't have no excuse to look down on me for that. You've been in jail yourself more than once. That's <laughs> a lie. Who told you that? There's some things I ain't got to be told. I can see them in folks' eyes. Well, from what I've been told, it ain't safe for a black to kill a white man in the States. You mean lynching scare me? Well, I tell you, Smithers, maybe I does kill one white man back there. Maybe I does. And maybe I killed another right here for yeah. long if he don't look out. Do you think I'd preach on you? Not me. I'm your friend, ain't I? Sure you is. And you better be. I'm going to show you that I'm your friend. I'll tell you that bit of news I was going to. Go ahead, shoot the bee. <laughs> Must be mighty bad news from the happy way you look. <laughs> Ain't noticed any of the servants or the guards around the place this morning, I ain't. Well, they're all out in the garden, sleeping under the trees. All I got to do is to ring that gong and they come flying. All right. Ring it now and you'll see what I mean. Sure, I ring. I'd sit in six months more? Well, I changed my mind then. I cashes in and resigns the job of emperor right this minute. Well, blimey, you're a cool bird and no mistake. No use, button. When I knows the game's up, I kisses it goodbye without no long wait. They's all run off to the hills, ain't they? Yes. Well, I'm taking them every man jack of them. Then the revolution's at the post. And the emperor better get his feet smoking up that tree. Go on, you look for your horse, ain't you, where you won't find it. They steal the horses first thing. Well, then I hoofs it. See? Do your duty. 3.30. Come down to 6.30 or thereabouts. Oh, I've got plenty of time. Make it easy. Now, yeah, why well, don't you be so blasted sure? You'll have to hustle to get through that forest in 12 hours, even if you knew the trail is like a bloomer make it. Look here, white man. You think I was a natural born fool? <laughs> Why, I've gone out in that forest so many times for ten on. I knows it high and low like a book. The pine trails my eyes shut. And I got tin grub hid there on a the big white stone where I can find it. Dawn tomorrow, I reaches the coast and boards that French gunboat. I got to laugh at these fool black trash around here. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Supposing something happens and they doesn't nap you. <laughs> I've got five lead bullets in this gun. 
And after that, I'd got the silver bullet left to cheat him out of getting me. I tell them when the time comes, I killed myself with it. That's because I'm the only man in the world big enough to get me. And you had a silver bullet, Mike? Honest? Oh, I sure did. Here she be. Five lead bullets and a silver baby at the last. Oh, she shines. Let me see. Keep your hands with him a long way, man. Blimey, you think I was a blast of thief? Oh, take that. I know you're scared to steal from me. Well, I ain't allowing everybody to touch this baby. He's my rabbit's foot. A sort of charm, eh? Now, blimey, you'll need all your blooming charms before long, help me. that drum beaten for? Well, you! The blacks is having a war dance in the hills, working up their courage before they start off here. Let them. They'll sure need it. They're making all sorts of devil spells and charms against your silver bullets. Uh, takes more than that to scare this chicken. You don't know what might happen there. It's that rotten still. Always sends the cold shivers down my back the minute I get in it. Go along, white man. You ain't talking to this baby. What ghost in hands got to do with me? Well, don't you know I was a member in good standing of the Baptist Church? Let them try the heathen tricks. The Baptist Church doesn't protect me. Land them all in hell. Yeah, you ain't paid much heed to your Baptist church down here. Taken up with them blooming witch doctors. Oh, sure, I pretend. You don't get me enough to do missionary work for the Baptist church. I just answer the coins, and I lays my religion on the shelf for the time being. But I ain't got the time to waste no more fool talk with you. I'm going away from here this time. So long, white man. I'll be in jail sometime, maybe. Oh, you won't. Here, I ain't going out this way, are you? Think I sneak out the back door? I'm Emperor, Elena. The Emperor don't leave the way he comes. And that black rat don't dare stop him. Not yet, these ways. Listen to that roll call, will you? Must be a mighty big drum, carry that call. Well, if there ain't no old brass band to see me off, I sure got the drum part of it. So long, white man. Give my regards to any ghosts you meet. Yeah, I am. In the nick of time, too. Sure. Give me a... Tuck it out, sure enough. That soft emperor job. Sure ain't no training for a long hike over that plain in the brightening sun. Cheer up. Wonder they wouldn't get sick of beating that drum. Sound louder, seemingly. Like. When did they start and after? Oh, sure. They's miles and miles behind. What you getting fidgety about? But you know what? Your belly's empty. That's what's the matter with you. <laughs> Nothing but wind on your stomach. Of course you feel jiggity. Well, we eat right here now. White stone, white stone. Wait. <laughs> I hear you. I know this was the white thing. Box of grub, come to me. 
In here? Have I lost the plane? There's another stone. Get back here. In here, man. Grub, where is you? In here. I got to go hungry in them woods all the night. Can't tell nothing from them trees. Nothing around here look like it was supposed to play, sure enough. It's mighty queer. Mighty queer. Woods, is you trying to put some over on me? Who the hell that? What is it? Get away from me, boy! That shot, Dixon. It was only little animals, little wild pigs, I reckon. They maybe rooted out your grub and eat it. Oh, you fool. What you think they is? Hands? Get the game away when you fire that shot. Get it. What you scared at? Ain't nothing there but the trees. Get in. The moon's right. You hear? It's more light. You see where you squire. But cheer up. Now when you have a snap. It's warm, and that's a fact. How long I've been making tracks in these years, Woods? Seem like forever. This am a long night for you, your majesty. <laughs> majesty. Ain't much majesty about this baby now. Never mind. It's all a part of the game. This night come to an end like everything else. When you get there safe and have that bankroll in your hand, he who laughs at all this. Ain't no hammer on this mountain. Ring like mine, say. Ring like mine. This old hammer ring like silver, say, ring like silver, shine like gold. Just singing it for you. What all the world to hear you? Hear that old drum. Who gets nearer from the south? They're packing it along with him. Time for me to move. What's that other queer clickety sound I hear? Sound like. Sound. I sound like shooting crap. The <laughs> time I beat it quick when I get them notes. Who there? Who there? Is that you, Jeff? Jeff. I'm sure I'm mighty glad to see you. They told me it done died from the cut I gave you. How you come to be here? Ain't you going to look up? Can't you speak to me? Is you... Is you a hand? I killed you dead once, as I got to kill you again. You take it then! He's gone anyway. Head or no head, that shot fixed him. He's getting near. He's coming fast, and here I is shooting shots, let him know just where I is. 
sorry. I've got to run. No more than heads. Oh, sure. That was all in your head. There wasn't nothing there. There wasn't no jet. You know what? You just get seeing them things because your belly's empty. And you're sick with hunger inside. Bless God, I don't see no more of them, whatever they is. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Yes, I is coming. When you wait, devil, I mean, just see you get some time. Why not every man? It's my Lord's deliver. 
Caught him, you see. Why don't you go in the woods and hunt after him? What's the good in white? We caught him. Silver bullet, kill him sure. They got a silver bullet? Lead bullet, no kill him. Him got strong charm. I cook money, make silver bullet, make strong charm too. Anyhow, you died in the eyes of... 